Hello students, in this video we'll complete our proof that additive inverses exist on the set of real numbers. So we recall that if alpha was a real number, we had the corresponding set beta, which is a set of all p and q, such that there exists an r greater than zero and r and q, of course, everything happens in a cut within q, such that negative p minus r is not in the cut alpha. In the previous video, we already proven, we know, that beta is a real number, i.e. It, it satisfies the gut conditions. And so now we want to show, so our goal in this video is to show that alpha plus beta is the zero cut. So one inclusion is fairly straightforward. So let's do the first inclusion. So I'd like to show that alpha plus beta is contained in zero star. And so how do we do this? So let's let r be in alpha plus beta. This implies that r is equal to a plus b for some a in alpha and b in beta. But if a is in alpha, then negative a is not in beta. This implies that negative a is not in beta. And so since negative a is not in beta, that means that negative a is larger than b. So negative a not in beta implies that a is, uh, that negative a is larger than b. Not beta, but b is larger than b. And that implies that a plus b is less than zero. And that's the same thing as saying that a plus b is in the zero cut. This is equivalent to saying that a plus b is in the zero cut. That's the first inclusion. So we have that alpha plus beta is contained in the zero cut. Now we'll do the opposite inclusion. The opposite inclusion is that zero star is contained in alpha plus beta. This is substantially more complex to do. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna let v be in the zero cut. And then we'll define, so that means that V is a rational number that's less, essentially it's one of the rational numbers that's less than zero. Then, if we let W be negative V over two, then W is greater than zero. W is in Q, and W is greater than zero. This is an important property. Now what we can do is this, so we can pick n, pick an integer n, such that n times w is in alpha, but n plus 1w is not an alpha. And this is nothing more than just the Archimedean, prop, uh, Archimedean principle for Q, right? So this is the Archimedean. You can find such an n by the Archimedean principle. It's the Archimedean principle on Q. And so now what we can do is this. We can set, we can set P, be our candidate, to be negative n plus two times w. So then, if we look at negative p, so what will negative p be? This implies that negative p is going to be n w with a positive sign, and then minus two w turns into a positive two w. So if we look at, this implies that negative p minus w is equal to n w plus 2 w minus w, which is going to be uh, n w plus w, which is n plus 1 w. And so that says that negative p minus w is not in alpha. This is not in alpha. So this says that p is in beta. So p is in beta, hence p is in beta. Now let's go back to V, so what is V? Our V, according to this, 
is really negative 2w. Okay, so let's look at this now. So b is negative 2w. So if we look at so this p over here, plus nw, or there we go, so yeah. So hence, p is in b. And so now let's write out a formula for, we can write out a formula for v. So what's v equal to? So v is equal to negative 2w. Okay. But what is negative 2w? So negative 2w, we can look at this equation over here. So negative 2w, if we solve for this, I'll put the negative 2w over here, is going to be p plus nw. Now we know that p is in beta, and nw by choice is in alpha. So we've just shown that v is in what? Is it in beta plus alpha or alpha plus beta? So this implies that v is in alpha plus beta, and that shows the inclusion that zero star is contained in alpha plus beta. Hence, we have shown that alpha plus beta by these two inclusions is zero star, and that means that beta is the additive inverse of alpha. And this is the final property of the field axioms for addition. So we showed all five field axioms for addition that the sum of alpha plus beta, where alpha and beta are real numbers, is a real number. It's commutative, it's associative, it has an additive identity, it has an additive inverse. So we've shown all five field axioms for the set for the operation addition of the real numbers. In further videos, we'll conclude the ordering properties for the real numbers and define multiplication. Thank you very much.